can we just ignore this hot ass mess behind me? Whew. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel, or welcome if you're new here. Feel free to stick around, hit that like and subscribe button if this is the kind of content that you like to watch. Um, this is the journey of my hot mess life. So, today, I'm switching up my makeup routine. Usually, I use the House Labs <coughs> foundation. Um... And today I'm going in with the Pro Fusion. I've used this before. I like it. It's okay. It is what it is. Um, and I prepped my skin with this Rin Clean Skincare. It's a Global Protection Day Cream, whatever that means, for sensitive skin. It's a moisturizer. I'm giving it a try. We'll see how it goes. So I'm going to put a little bit of this on a sponge. I'm about out, I guess. I like to keep one to two drugstore foundations and like one high-end foundation. But I do have a Sephora order coming in in the next week or so with some skin tints for the summer because I like a little bit of a lighter foundation for the summer. So we'll, we're gonna we're gonna check out and see what's best for 2024. So I'm just gonna pounce this into the face. Um, it's a little bit warmer than yesterday. Yesterday was cold, as I said, but it's still not like 80 degrees. So winter makeup is still applicable for today. Which is just, my winter makeup is just a little bit heavier than my summer makeup. But I, th I don't think I'm going to do any bronzing, cream bronzing again. That was, I didn't do that yesterday and I really liked my makeup look yesterday. I am going to switch some things up. A little bit more foundation here. So mainly what I'm using foundation for is to even out my skin tone and to like cancel out some of that redness, which is why if you've watched my channel before, you know, I don't like, even if you have rosy undertones or pink undertones and you're trying to get rid of that, don't buy a rosy undertone foundation because it's going to accentuate that. Like I don't. I don't in in my in my experience anyway so when I really first noticed it was when I was uh, I was working at a doctor's office and this girl was selling Mary Kay and she was like I really can't tell you have some yellow in your skin and you have some rosiness in your skin so I'm gonna give you both the pink undertone and the yellow undertone and see what works for you I did pink and I did yellow and the pink looked red, <laughs> like I was flushed all day, and the yellow looked too yellow. I mixed the two together to kind of create what I, in my mind, and then was a neutral undertone, and it worked okay. So, this is the foundation for the day. Uh, still, of all the, like, prepping that I've done for my skin, this Nivea is still the best as far as like really keeping your makeup on, priming the skin. Um, I just, I notice a longevity to my makeup that I don't notice when I'm not wearing it. So I don't even think I'm gonna put jewelry on today other than my necklace that I always wear because I never take it off. But I don't even think I'm gonna wear anything other than makeup and perfume. Um, okay, so I'm gonna set that. I'm really trying to use this up. This is my favorite. This is the Hourglass Veil Powder. So lightweight. I thought, oh, it's just powders. Like, no one's going to really care for the difference. But 
I notice a difference and I think that will be the only powder that I repurchase. I have a few, like I have the multicolor, I don't know, it's like really popular, uh, Givenchy or I, I don't know, it's some bougie brand that I saw everyone and their dog using and I was like, I need that and it was just okay. It, I didn't notice it setting my face much, so. But it's nice for under the eyes, so. And I don't have it like in front of me, so I don't know. I don't even know where it's at, but I am ready to use this house labs up. It's not bad. It's not the worst powder I've ever used. It's just not my favorite. <clears throat> okay. Oh, dang. I wanted to, I have this CoverGirl Clean. I wanted to use that and I just went right, I'm going to go under the eyes with it. There you go, T-Zone. I love the way this stuff smells, like, takes me back to my childhood, for sure. The, um, the CoverGirl makeup. I was gonna use that, dang it. Ruined it. Anyway, um, I need something on my lips. I do have a haul coming for you. I have a bunch of stuff, but my goal is to have my room kind of like exactly the way I want it and it's just taking me forever I've been crazy stupid busy I feel like I'm never gonna be not busy I'm just feeling a little overwhelmed right now this too shall pass so I am breaking out this new summer Fridays um it's super popular right now the lip balm lip butter balm whatever um I got it in mint because that's the only one they had that wasn't like super dark um, it has a sheer green tint to it, but really it's clear. You know, the longer I've been on my channel and the more makeup that I've been doing, the more that I notice, I'm really not that much of a lipstick girly. Um, I do occasionally, so I do buy it. It's just... I don't gravitate towards it. There's that. I'm going to use this bronzing powder very light handedly. I'm not going to go crazy. I say that and then watch me like so much bronzer. Um, I had a girl at work yesterday who was like, I need some makeup tips. And I was like, girl, you came to buy a spot sit down and let me help you and I just put a little bit of bronzer and highlight on her and she was like I love it and then I did her I put some brow stuff some brow gel in her in her brows and that really like framed her face and looked so awesome <clears throat> I don't have a whole lot of time because I have to stop and get breakfast on the way to work. I'm just going to somewhere like Dollar General to grab something that I can microwave. Quick and easy, I don't know what it'll be today. I've been on a Cheez-It kick for whatever reason. I know, so healthy. No. I might have left. Oh, there it is, okay. And then just my eyeshadow brush down the nose. You know the drill. This is all the same. And I think I'm going to go to the drugstore sometime in the near future and try to create a the same makeup look with all drugstore products. Because I'm curious, well, is there much of a difference? Like, hmm. I'm going to go down here a little bit more. Like I said, I'm going very light-handed on the bronzer. Um, I'm going to use the Profusion Blush Hour Blush. 
I don't know really how I feel about these types of blushes yet. My biggest fear is that it's going to dry and stick right there and not move. Where's my blush brush? There it is. I really like that color. I wish I had a powder that was very similar to that that could set that color. I love that. I love it so much. Like in the camera, it kind of looks a little stark because the light's like right on it, but in person, it's really not that stark. <clears throat> I am so ready for summer. I am like, I'm not ready for it to be a thousand degrees outside, no. But yesterday I was just like, I just want to be by a pool. I don't want to swim, um, but I want to be laying by the pool. I want it to be like 90 to 95 degrees outside. Some nice southern breeze coming in and like margarita in hand and just laying there existing. But I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon with the way my schedule has been here recently. <sighs> anyway, that's the look. Um, I will finish. Oh, I, I am going to put some of this wet and wild. It's pinch me pink. I love this color just to set that. Anytime I put something cream on, I'm putting a powder on top to set it. Like it's just, I don't know if that's one of those habits that just, it will never die. I, d I don't know. And then what I'll do, because that's that's a little bright, right? So I'm just really going to blend that. And then I'm going to take my powder brush and go over that to kind of soften it. I really love a heavy blush. Um, the girl that I was doing her makeup yesterday at work, like, I couldn't see her wanting a heavy blush. So, I just did bronzer and hi highlight on her. And I can't believe that light already turned off. It's only been 12 minutes. But, obviously, it got hot or something. I really need to invest in a new light. But, that's the makeup look. As usual, I'm going to do brows, uh, lips, and mascara in the car on the way to work. And... I will catch up with you guys then. See you Just soon. doing a little midday check-in. Um, the blush, I love it so much. I've used it in the past, but I didn't love it this much. I don't know if it's just the way everything applied today, but I'm really loving my makeup today. So, on the foundation and the blush is so beautiful. Um, and I see why this, what is it? summer fridays or whatever that lip oil balm that i put on earlier i see what the big rage is left my lips feeling so soft so moisturized not sticky um i will be buying more of those end of the day check-in look how well the blush held up um i'm definitely doing a, a doing that again tomorrow same blush love it um, and I love the fact that I didn't put a contour stick because I just think it would have been a little bit too heavy of a look. Um, because as we transition to warmer weather, I tend to wear less heavy looks. Um, and I love it so much. And it was White Trash, white trash Wednesday. And I didn't wear my cigarette earrings <laughs> that my husband absolutely hates that I just... I think that's the only reason I like them is because he doesn't. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but anyway. So, it, the makeup did really freaking awesome today. This mascara kind of flakes, as you can see right here. And under the eyes isn't as bright as it was this morning. But I didn't put, like, concealer or anything on. So, it's kind of to be expected. So, I am finally home. I'm skipping church tonight. I know. I know, like, I shouldn't, and 
it's like also time that me and my son spend together that is special for me but I just have this desire to be at home like doing laundry getting caught up like and I'm working on a project, hanging some lights in our bedroom, and I'm really wanting to get that done. And then I have a special video that I'm wanting to film later tonight. So hopefully I get all that done. So anyway, I'm very happy with the makeup look. Thank you guys for watching my channel, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Please tell me I'm not the only one that gets completely overwhelmed with how much stuff there is to do and how little time there is to do it. So I even left work a few minutes early today because I have this grandiose plan because I have a massive haul. I mean like a massive haul. I've been buying shit for like months and putting it in a little corner and being like, I need to make a video on that. Anyway, so before I do that though, I want these lights strung up along the wall. I hate overhead lighting. I absolutely hate it. I think it's unflattering. Maybe in videos it looks okay, but like, I'm more of a soft lamp girly. Anyway, so that's what I'm working on tonight. And hopefully by the end of tonight, possibly tomorrow, I have time to do this video and sit down and my lights will be up. My room will be the way I want it. The bed will be actually made without crap on top of it. <laughs> and I literally have enough laundry where if I just like took a week off, I could clean nonstop in this house and I might be caught up with, I mean, probably two days worth of laundry. Two solid days of nothing but running the washing machine and dryer except for eight hours when I sleep. Seriously, that's how much I have to do. It's like, oh, my house is perfect. Or it's like, it's crap. <laughs> There's no in between. <laughs> that's how it feels anyway. So a lot to do but I have got to go get some dinner I'm hungry I miss my husband I have and I haven't felt that in the past two or three days like it's been tough like I don't I don't know how much to delve into on like YouTube but like I'm a little moody okay and the past few days I get home I see him and I'm like do you not have something to go do that's horrible, I know, but it's my honest to gosh feelings. So, in this moment, I'm like, I just wanna sit and have dinner with my husband. So that's what I'm gonna go do and take advantage of it while the laundry's doing it. And then those, I had to put some command strips up along the wall and they have to sit with no weight on them or anything being hung on them for an hour. This is perfect time for me to go have dinner with my husband. I'll check on you later tonight and we'll see how this hot mess somehow progresses into an aesthetic video preferably by the end of the week because I got crap to do that didn't even work I'm failing at life see you in a second